Hey there, everyone. Scapegoat Stephen back with another Marvel Crisis Protocol report. So this is an, the second round uh, top table from our event that we ran a few weeks ago uh, on the 2nd of April. So this is another Midnight Suns game, although it's a different player this time. Uh, so when we get to the report on the left of your screen, you have Fergie running X-Force and on the right of the screen, you will have Kieran running uh, Midnight Suns again, although quite a different list to the first game. So we ended up with a 20 threat game of the X-Force into Midnight Suns uh, with super powered scoundrels form Sinister Syndicate and Spider Infected Invade Manhattan. So on the X-Force side, uh, we have got six characters. We've got Cable, obviously, as the leader, Domino, X-23, Honey Badger, Wolverine, and Deadpool. And Fergie bought the cards Brace for Impact, Cat and Mouse, Chimichangas, Disarm, and Patch Up. Kyron, on the other hand, had Blade as his leader, obviously, for Midnight Suns. He bought Hulk, Iron Fist, Doctor Strange, and Black Widow. Along with the cards Bats the Ghost Hound, Brace for Impact, Heroes for Hire, Patch Up and Siege of Darkness. Some really interesting picks there for the Midnight Suns list. Uh, Hulk obviously able to potentially duke it out with some of the more fighty elements of the X-Force list. Doctor Strange for a bit of control. Uh, Iron Fist there with the Heroes for Hire card, perhaps for some, some niche moving and bodyguard tech uh, at a crucial time. Uh, obviously Siege for Darkness is just a, a great Midnight Suns card, uh, allowing all Midnight Suns to make an attack. Obviously not everyone in that Midnight Suns roster is affiliated, uh, but there are enough of them there to allow that to happen. So, let's get into the game. Right, so as I mentioned previously, you've got X-Force on the left and Midnight Suns on the right. Uh, so first you can drop Domino as his first placement, sort of towards the bottom left of your screen. Uh, Karen's going to drop Hulk straight there in the middle. Uh, then Cable pretty much drops opposite. Uh, Black Widow towards the bottom right. Uh, Deadpool top left. Uh, then Blade comes in by Black Widow towards the bottom right. Uh, I think we've got X-23 uh, sort of bottom left. Doctor Strange central on the right. Honey Badger bottom left. Uh, in goes Iron Fist on the other side of Hulk. Uh, and Wolverine in the centre. So everyone is sorting out their tokens right now. Uh, I think it's actually quite a really interesting matchup, again, because there's definitely fighty elements to Midnight Suns. Uh, whether or not they'll be outfought by the X-Men roster, the X-Force roster, sorry, is, uh, is a different question. So Deadpool's going to uh, move twice uh, and spend power to pick up the Spider Infected. Just to give himself that early one point secure. Uh, then Black Widow is going to go. She's going to move long uh, and then also pick up a Spider Infected and then move again just so she's contesting that objective and just behind the cover of the train. Domino's then going to move and pick up a Spider Infected uh, and then she's going to move again just out to the flank towards the bottom of your screen. Karen's looking at can Hulk realistically get to that central objective? Um, and unfortunately, due to the placement of scenery, he can't. Uh, it is definitely something we're looking at for the next game, actually, because we quite like this table, because it's quite a thematic table. Uh, but the layout, perhaps, is a bit difficult to get some of the characters around. Um, but it is something we're seriously looking at, uh, although I do like the appearance of the table. Uh, so Hulk just moves once in the middle, then he moves a second time. Uh, and I believe he picks up a spider infected at the top right of the screen. So Cable's going to go next. He's going to body slide by one himself uh, and then start taking some pot shots at the Hulk after moving. Uh, he manages four successes and the Hulk only gets two defense. So he just does two damage, uh, start chipping away there at the Hulk. Uh, Doctor Strange is going to go next. He's going to use his fly move to go get a commanding view of the battlefield from up there on top of that train. Uh, it takes a look at Cable, uh, decides actually some bolts of bedevilment are the, uh, the right choice here. Uh, manages to uh, do three damage after the defense rolls and decides to push Cable off to the right, just sort of away, or to the top of the screen, sorry, uh, just to get him away from the center of the field. Now, Cable obviously has long range attacks, so can do a bit with his, uh, with his gun, but pushing him away from the middle of the board opens up the middle a little bit more for Chiron. 
so X23 is going to go next. Uh, she's just going to end up double moving uh, to the objective on the bottom left of your screen. A little bit of confusion there with, with one of the the criminal syndicate, the sinister syndicate, sorry, objective marker and whether or not you actually need to interact with it. So it was just a bit of discussion. Then Kyra moves, du double moves Iron Fist to the middle and just picks up that spider infected on the middle, which obviously then gives him the three spider infected, the middle and the two sides of the board. So currently he's going to be on that one point advantage for the entire game, unless obviously Fergie can, can interrupt that and get stuck in. Um, next we get Wolverine. Wolverine's just going to double move. Uh, there's a little bit of discussion here about actually would it not make more sense to have moved to the other side of the platform just to make sure that he's contesting that central objective. Uh, Corrin obviously perfectly willing to allow Fergie to do that, which is great to see. Uh, obviously, Wolverine clearly had the movement to do it. So that's what they decide on. Wolverine contests that central objective. Blade moves forward to add a second person contesting this objective in the bottom right and throws his glaives at Domino. Only does one damage, but obviously gets that bleed off. Anyone who's played against or with Blade in the past knows that actually bleed for him is quite an important stat. Uh, Honey Badger just double moves forward in preparation for the following turn. So at the end of that turn, the X-Force score four points. That's two for the Spider Infected and two for the objectives on their side of the board. While Corrin for, with his Midnight Sun scores five, two for the Secures and three for the Spider Infected. And obviously no one is scoring that central objective as of yet. So Kyron now has priority because he only has five characters to 36. Uh, so he debates what he's going to do. But first, obviously, we've got the if you're holding a spider infected, do you move roll? Uh, unfortunately for for Kyron, he actually gets almost all of I think all three of his models get moved. So Black Widow gets pushed backwards. Iron Fist gets pushed backwards. And Fergie pulls Hulk forwards to him. Uh, just in preparation, perhaps, to try and get some hits in. Uh, none of the X-Force who are holding Spider Infected actually get moved. In a, uh, a bit of a one-sided shuffle round there with struggling Spider Infected victims. So Hulk is going to activate first because he's eyeing up. He's, you know, he's got three characters around him. So it's where, where he wants to go and what he wants to do. So he's going to start by using the Bump in the Night movement. So it's just a one-inch place, which is Blade's leadership ability that he confers to the Midnight Suns. He's then just going to punch Deadpool. Uh, and uh, Deadpool, unfortunately, rolls really badly in defense and just, just straight up takes five damage uh, and is dazed, like, straight away. And uh, Hulk pushes him backwards with the push off that particular ability. Hulk's then going... Oh, then, obviously, the Spider Infected drops. Hulk is already currently holding a Spider Infected, so he just places the Spider Infected behind him. Between, between him and Cable. He's then going to attack Cable. Uh, unfortunately, just deals one damage in the end after uh, Fergie remembers that Cable can activate his shield. So he does so. There's a little bit of jiggery poker here where, where Chiron is perfectly, again, willing to, to allow Fergie to check check the rules and, and move, move Cable back. He was, we're still in the middle of this activation, so actually I think that's really good sportsmanship on Chiron's part especially because most people at this event are quite new. So it's very nice that he's willing to allow us to, to, to take that sort of thing back. So Hulk then pays two and throws some scenery at Cable, doing one damage. But this does, in fact, then daze him uh, rather than the original punch doing so. So that, unfortunately, is Deadpool and Cable dazed off of that particular fight. Hulk is now holding that objective and there is a spider infected nearby. So Domino is going to activate. And she's going to try and throw some attacks into Blade, but of no consequence. And then she just sort of runs away, really, because she is holding a Spider Infected at the moment. So obviously that's uh, an important thing for her to keep hold of the points. Uh, Doctor Strange, eyes up Wolverine, uh, decides to bolts of bedevilment him. Uh, unfortunately, he just does no damage because Wolverine is behind that piece of cover. Uh, again, there's a bit of a discussion here actually about uh, how um, how many defence that Wolverine would have gotten, and uh, unfortunately, because of that cover, there is no there is no way for Doctor Strange to have done anything. He does take a second pop with Bolts of Devilment as well to try and do something, and again, absolutely nothing. 
So Wolverine, Wolverine's pretty happy. Uh, this is even with um, the re-rolls, uh, except on the second attack with the re-rolls, Bolt Bedevement does get some damage through, and two damage, and pushes Wolverine away. Uh, but as I said, it was using Doctor Strange's re-roll to get those sort of successes. So Honey Badger decides she wants a piece of blade uh, and goes in, uh, just does the one damage to him and bleeds. So she moves and then makes an attack into him. Uh, blade decides then that he might have a go back at Honey Badger. So he spends one to clear bleed, which is one of the rules that he's got on his card about clearing conditions. It's a special, uh, special superpower. He then smacks Honey Badger uh, for four damage and then obviously bleed for himself, thanks to Pierce. Uh, he's then uh, bumps away. Uh, just a little bit. Oh, sorry, no, he attacks a second time. Uh, and then obviously dazes Honey Badger because Honey Badger's only got the 5 HP. Uh, he's then going to bump in the night away a little bit to try and hide from X23 coming in. Uh, not a huge amount, but a little bit, just again, so he's contesting that objective. And then he will heal thanks to the bleed that is currently on Honey Badger. And that's the end of Blade's activation. Pretty... Uh, Pretty strong hits there. Uh, Wolverine's going to move and then he's just going to charge at Hulk. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he doesn't do a lot, really. He, he gets the one damage and bleed off on Hulk, but but that is it, um, which isn't a lot, really, for, for, for Wolverine. I'm a little bit concerned that X-23 is going to replace him in a lot of lists at the moment, uh, but that's a conversation for a completely different day. Uh, Black Widow is going to double move towards the top of the screen, so she's actually right there on an objective. Uh, which you can't see because the train's in the way, uh, but she's now contesting that one. X-23 actually then just backs off a little bit, just to ensure she's still holding that objective and she's a little bit of a distance from the opponent. Iron Fist then double moves back to the middle to contest the central objective. So, Fergie actually only scores two, because uh, he's got one secure, which is the bottom left, and one spider infected on Domino, which puts him to six points. Uh, and Kyron goes, scores a massive seven this turn. Uh, he's holding four of the five secures, so not the bottom left, but every single other one because of all the dazed X, X-Force members. Uh, and then he's got three Spider Infected. It's, uh, it's brutal. Uh, we're going to do a bunch of rolling again for uh, whether or not anyone gets pushed around by the, uh, by the Spider Infected. Uh, Hulk does, uh, but not really anyone else. And again, it's not a lot of people that are shifted around this turn by those spider infected. Uh, so Cable's decided he's, he's not a huge fan of being stood right next to Hulk. So he's going to activate. He does put, put power into his spender. He only does one damage, but crucially gets that stagger off on Hulk. Uh, and then he attacks with his energy rifle and does another three to Hulk. So that, that puts Hulk down by another four HP. Corrin, looking at this, decides that Hulk probably needs to attack right now. Uh, and anyone who's not aware, Hulk gets bonus bonus um, dice when he attacks for every four points of damage he's taken. So he's eyeing up Deadpool right now to decide what he wants to do with this particular point of the game. Uh, so he decides to punch Deadpool. because so he's got a nine dice physical attack. Uh, Cable is all going to spend two to try and shield Deadpool. But oh my, after attack and defense rolls... Kyron managed to get a massive 8 damage into Deadpool and just KOs him straight off the bat. Absolutely no chance. Uh, Deadpool's basically done nothing this game other than run and contest an objective or grab a spider infected. Um, unfortunate there, really. Just, you know, again, Hulk is just such a strong beast, especially once you start putting damage into him. Uh, he's then going to spend 2 and uh, decides he doesn't like Wolverine, so he's going to throw Wolverine away, uh, a medium. Uh, and then he's going to Gamma Leap backwards just to get next to that objective and try and put some distance between him and Wolverine. Uh, stop Wolverine coming and contesting that objective. Black Widow is on. So Honey Badger is going to go next. Uh, there was a little bit of confusion here, which I don't think either of the players noticed, but they accidentally left the bleed on Honey Badger. Uh, it's not hugely relevant to the game, uh, but it's just something that um, I, th I think both players forgot about while it was there so she's going to attack blade and she only does the one damage uh, and then she tries to hamstring blade uh, does another one damage uh, but gets slow and bleed off on blade which makes him uh, a little bit of a sad panda but obviously as discussed last turn he can he can spend to withdraw to remove conditions and i don't believe that's a once per turn ability so 
Doctor Strange uh, is going to Bolts of Bedevilment Wolverine to try and get Wolverine to run away again. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't do anything, even with the re-roll. Uh, and then he's going to move just a little bit so he can then patch up Hulk. And he spends all five. Uh, and uh, I've written five and heals him for three. I can't remember which way around it was. He's either healed him for five or three, but the Hulk is much more healthy again. Uh, Domino's just going to double move. Um, just like looking like she's going to be heading towards the central objective here. Uh, again, taking a bit of damage from that bleed when she finishes. So Blade's going to activate. He's going to spend two uh, to shake both bleed and remove slow from himself. Because uh, he doesn't like either of those, frankly. Uh, he, we're just checking here. Karin's just double checking his card to make sure he can. And as far as we can tell, uh, it doesn't say once per turn. Uh, so he does it twice. Uh, he spends to attack Honey Badger, uh, doing three damage. Um, and then attacks again and does two, uh, KOing Honey Badger. So as you can see, this Midnight Suns roster is kicking out a lot of damage this game. Uh, you know, we've taken out Deadpool and Honey Badger. Now, granted, they don't have like crazy good defensive stats, but they also don't have bad defensive stats. So it's quite interesting to uh, to see them getting one-shotted by... Obviously, Hulk is a bit of a machine, and Blade's pretty good with his Mystic Katanas. So. Wolverine's going to go next. Uh, he's he's still not a fan of Hulk. He just he just you know he's obviously got his rage up, got his uh, anger going. Perhaps he just sees this large, huge creature and and thinks of it as though it's it's saber tooth and is just getting blind in uh, in attacking him. Uh, he just moves attacks. He does manage four damage this time into Hulk though, which is pretty good. Um, again, if Hulk had already taken, if Hulk hadn't been healed, sorry, by Doctor Strange, that's you know, quite a whack of damage into him. Uh, Black Widow is going to go next. She's just going to move, um, double move even, to contest this objective. Because unfortunately, I don't believe Cable is within one. He's just a little bit too far out. Um, X-23 shuffles a tiny bit forward just to ensure she's still on that objective. And then Iron Fist decides, oh, you know what, he's, he's going to hit Wolverine. He's just going to go punch him a bit. So he bumps... Uh, Attacks twice and essentially does nothing to Wolverine on both attacks. Uh, Wolverine just rolls pretty well uh, on his attacks, on his defence dice, sorry. So the game actually finishes there. Uh, X-Force only score two more points again. One contested objective in the bottom left and Domino with a spider infected, uh, meaning that they get eight total. Uh, Karin again scores six. He gets three of each. Uh, he's got three spider infected and three objectives with the middle objective being the only one not content. So yeah, another great win for the Midnight Suns there. Running away with it towards the end. I think those Hulk, those early Hulk activations were really important. Turns one and two, oh, sorry, turns two and three. Just absolutely pancaking Deadpool and Cable, then taking out uh, Deadpool the following turn, and then just backing off to ensure that this objective was, was held. I think it's really good plan there by Kyron to come in, Make sure you've got the lead by taking that central spider infected and then ascent and contesting that central objective. And after that, you kind of force your opponent to come to you. Now, X Force does have the damage to probably deal with Midnight Suns. I think Hulk is probably your issue there, like because he's just got so many hit points. And yeah, you can, but you're probably spending an entire turn or two having to make sure and rolling well to make sure that you actually take, take out. Hulk, which maybe he's a big distraction piece. Although in this in this particular instance, he did both good distraction work and good hitting work. Uh, you know, taking that objective, drop making Deadpool drop that spider infected, which no one ever then picked back up again, as you can see from the video. Overall, just a, a, a great win. Not many tactics cards used actually by by people this game. Uh, I was a bit surprised. Uh, you know, second time back to the Ghost Hand has been. Been in a, a Midnight Suns list, and I've not seen it actually be used yet. Uh, and I've never seen it used when I've played Midnight Suns. Granted, that's only been a couple of games so far. Obviously, patch up probably quite key to get that healing off on Hulk, just to stop that that one round or two round killing of him. But yeah, overall, it was another great game. Thanks for watching.